of this week's TV recap, and it is Arrow. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'd like to do here before we get into the recap is just kind of waste your time with um, nothing really happening because I don't really know what kind of show I'm writing anymore, so I'm just going to drag out a boring sequence and then go to the title screen. Season 5, Episode 1 of Arrow. Not going to lie, it was shit. Holly's mayor, um, he basically called out the police uh, corruption inside the police station, um, which is basically going to piss them off, and then said, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, assemble a ta anti-crime task force, in other words, a police station, and then, um, uh, they had the monument to Laurel Lance, aka the Black Canary, which looked like a chocolate mould gone wrong, um, that was just terrible. And then Holly gets kidnapped by some dude who thinks that if he kidnaps the mayor of Star City, Green Arrow will come and save him. But he doesn't know that he's the Green Arrow. And not much happened there. Um, then we have flashbacks to him being in uh, Russia and how he got recruited into the the Bratva, or is it? But something like that. The one thing I did like, though, is uh, Anatoly and uh, Ollie have mad chemistry. Like, they work really well on screen together. But that's about the only two people in this show that actually work on screen together now. Um, oh! The best one of all, Felicity. Even though we don't have Olicity now, but uh, the, the amount of bitchery that comes out of her mouth is still cranked up to 12. Hey, it's not a, it's a, you can't ever have it the same as before. We can't go back to the way it was before. We can't go back to the way it was before. You need to help. You need to assemble a team. And then uh, you got Ollie going, no, I'm not going to assemble a team. I'm not going to assemble a team. I'm not going to assemble a team. All right, yeah, let's assemble a team. Curtis comes in. I want to be on the team. Ollie's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, Arrow doesn't really know what it's doing. Also, before we get into discussing it, the mayor sets up an anti-crime task force because the police aren't already an anti-crime task force. That's literally, literally the definition of a police department. Yeah, I think that was more, I, what I took out of that was the task force that is put into... Um, uh, I have been vouched for, so they're not corrupt. That's all I took out of that. Yeah, but shouldn't you want a completely non-corrupt police? Like, is that a good thing to be yeah. like, hey, he's, he's the we, we found the one who's not corrupt, and they're going to focus on tackling crime because the rest of the cops make it? Yeah, but this is Batman, remember? No, this isn't even Batman. This is just stupid. Uh, they, they just, yeah, they, they go with the Batman stories and, I don't know, I just felt that that was a bit of a cop out to a bit of a, a, a Batman tribe thing. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would agree that they don't really know what they're doing. I mean, I got the impression I got from this was quite really, really fucking hard to tell you. We're not going to go back to the way things were. We're not going to go back to the way things were. I mean, they said it in the show that many times. Things aren't going back the way they were. Things aren't going back the way they were. But I don't know that I believe that that's going to be the case. I, uh, I have, uh, I have two things to say about this episode. Mm -hmm. The first one is, Black Canary's last words being, or seemingly last words being, don't let me be the last canary, absolutely yep. guarantees, guarantees us. Evelyn Sharp. No. Felicity. Felicity. Felicity is becoming the Black Canary. Felicity. And, uh, yeah. Sharp. No, it's not going to happen, son. She'll die, and then Felicity will take on the mantle. And the uh, the final one, because there'll be a string of black canaries before we get Felicity's canary. Mm -hmm. And finally, I want to give a big shout out to longtime Batcave enthusiast Mr. Cosplay for bringing something Ooh. to my attention this week. 
and that is that this episode's ratings came out, and it was down one third of its audience. Wow! One, literally, the th- and that is one third. If you went by the Twitter polls, one third of people said without Laurel they were going to stop watching. One yeah. third, and he and that was also. Remember, Guggenheim also said, "Stop watching." Then go on. He did yeah. one third, and one third went fuck. Okay. Him. So that's. But what I'm what he, here's what I'm going to take away from this. Just just tell it before I step back and let you guys go on this because I'm I'm going to hurt you all. I'm, I'm going to just going to hurt you real bad. Um. Do you know what they're going to take away from why this episode failed? There was no. Elicity in it. Felicity was in it for five minutes, but there was no Elicity. Therefore, fans tuned out because they wanted Elicity. Further proof that Elicity equals ratings. Go ahead, guys. What do you got? Well, there's zero logic to that because that's why they'll go with it. There's no Elicity. Yeah, yeah, but of course, there's no logic to that. That that's that's because that's the the target audience is Elicity fans, not people like us that actually like the comics and like Mm -hmm. the storyline and actually want to watch it because it's a, a comic book. From your childhood that you like, and you just get to see it on the screen in live action role play, or live action TV. But fuck the storyline, and fuck your original fans. Elicity is the key. Yep. We took away Elicity, and we lost a third of the audience. That proves that that one third of the audience just wanted. Come Elicity. on, let's get those fans back. We'll put Elicity well, yeah, we back. We just need a hundred percent Elicity. I got to admit, it was nice to have her back the right. Oh, fuck. I do want to... Yeah, it was right having her back, but the problem with this week's episode was Curtis spending the whole first half of the episode being like, I don't want to be a hero. I'm not a hero. No heroing for me. Never going to be a hero. No siree. No hero. Oh, man. I went out late at night and, like, two guys mugged me because I live in the most dangerous fucking city on the planet. In the dark. And so now I want to, like, learn to fight and, and I want... I want to... I'm, I'm, I want him. I'll be a hero. I, um, I'd be a hero too, yeah, please. I can have cheeseburger heroes. That's, that's really no different as well to all of them. The whole, whole episode going, I'm not recruiting, not recruiting, not recruiting, all right, let's recruit. Yep. Well, the fact that he was so adamant about you've got to be at a certain level for me to recruit you. Oliver, I want to be a recruit. Yeah, okay, sure. well, I was doing fine. Whatever, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah, we said it too. It was like, yeah. I, uh, it's just confirmed something that in my head as well about Elicity. No, just Elicity coming back. Um, I, have a, I, have a, I have a theory. I have a theory that uh, the boyfriend of the new oh, Felicity's new boyfriend is a villain. Yeah. And so she's not going to listen to to Oliver. Oliver's going to figure it out, and he'll be like, "That dude's bad." And then Felicity would just be like, "No, you're just jealous because you don't get none of this shit no more." <laughs> Yeah. And then he'll fucking turn, and then Felicity will find out that he's the bad guy after all the other ones have been killed off, and that's when Felicity goes, I don't want to be hurt again, I need to be Felicinary. Yeah. Do you, are you, though, are of the belief that the boyfriend is the dude at the end who was like, I'm not the green arrow, honey? Yeah, I still think yeah, that. You'll be. Yeah, it'll be something. something. He, no, do you know who he is? Remember how they said last year they, they put out a thing about what the this season's going to be about and they're like, repercussions have come to Felicity for firing those nukes off because somebody she hurt somebody's family wherever the nukes went off. Oh, it's yeah. that guy because he's getting in close. Mm. And then Oliver will save her and she'll be all like, I don't want to oh. get hurt again. He'll be like, I need to train you. And she'll be like, what will my code name be? And he'll be like, Canary because Laurel made me promise and... There was nobody she cared about more than you, and I know with you by my side, we'll be able to fight together forever. And she'd be like, okay. No listening for the long. See, Brayden's head's in his hand right now because he's just realised I'm right. You're not, it's not going to happen. It's yeah. going to happen. I'm fucking weak. Do you legitimately think it's, like, honestly, honestly, like, let, I want to break kayfabe for five seconds here. Do you actually think that's not going to happen? I think a good chunk of me thinks, yeah, it won't, and the other chunk of me is fucking hoping. Bro, I'm afraid I got some bad news. Yeah, it's happening. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. It's happening. I mean, it is happening. I've done shit. I mean, I really shouldn't put it past them. I'd, I'd probably real fucking dumb to say, yeah, I don't think they're going to do it, but... 
Yeah, you are. You are if, real. If you're going to rage over the first half of Flash this at uh, this yeah season. episode season or last last episode. Well, I don't mean, yeah. Yeah. So if he's going to rage that hard over one episode of Flash that he doesn't agree with, you're going to be in a coma over Arrow. Yeah. No, because I expect better from the Flash. But you, you, you still expect, you, you're kind of hoping that... I, I hang on, hang on, shut up for a second. You're kind of hoping that Felicity doesn't become the canary. I'm just saying I expect Arrow to be shit. Well, th- this... Like, I'm not going to be let down with shit. Well, this is what's going to happen. It's going to be shit because she, she is, is going, going to be, to be the black canary. canary. Yeah. She's already got the blonde hair and the black canary has blonde hair. It's literally, they wrote it for her in the first... I almost feel like... This, this somehow he just masterminded this whole plan by hiring a brunette to play fucking Black Canary in the first place. But I'm telling you, I'm promising you, Uncle Guggenheim's dick is so fucking hard over Emily Bett Ricketts that he would cast her as the Arrow if he could. She is becoming the Canary because it's a way for him to go, no, well, see, we're right. embracing, we're embracing the, the canon, but we're telling it our way as well. Everybody be happy because now the Elicity fans get what they want, Felicity and Oliver are together, but the comic book fans get what they want because Green Arrow and Black Canary are together. That's the thinking here. You've got to think like a fucking retard like he is. There's a reason we name uh, the piece of shit award after him. You're right. That's, that's how we get Ollie in for the scenario. Yeah. Wayne, go. Well, I'm just thinking he could probably get her to be uh, the new Green Arrow because she is blonde. Hey, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard from you. Hey, why not? This is this is Buddy America. They like they like. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, someone said America. Yeah! Go give me my gun. Sorry, sorry. You said what? America. We have to cheer when you say America. Anytime, anytime anybody says America, you have to cheer. That's that's the rules of America. Yeah, I know, but because she yes, she is the uh, she's the original blonde. Green Arrow is blonde. So is Stephen Amell, though. Not really. He's dirty blonde. Basically. He's dirty blonde, but he's not blonde like the traditional blonde. I guess. You, you look at their comics, you know. Gwen Arrow is a... No, yeah, but he a also has a blonde. beard. I don't think Emily Bett Ricketts can grow one. <laughs> unless we're calling that a <laughs> clamshell beard. Well, you know, leave her hair around. Why not? Be better than uh, Matt's anyway. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. I don't know, I, I'm just, I'm just, yeah, no, it's gonna, it, it is going to be... It will be Felicinary. Oh, it's totally Felicinary. Totally It's Felicinary. so Felicinary that I, like, it's, it, if it was any more Felicinary, it would be, like, I... It should have just been Felicity. Like, they, right. they would, yeah, they'll rename the show Felicity if mm. it's any more Felicinary. It's Felicinary, mm. that's the end game here. Mm. They have so much chemistry together, Brayden, the chemistry. The chemistry. It's happening, Now, dude. speaking of chemistry... I actually want to do this one in reverse. I want to hand out the Cranstons first because I want to talk about the one good thing in this episode. And that goes to my man from the Russian Bratvar. Because he has chemistry with Stephen Amell. And that guy was excellent. He was the saving grace of this show. Everything he did was enjoyable. And like, just, I'm just like, wow, you're a prick, but I don't hate you. Like, he gets, yeah. it's like, I save you because you're my friend. Now I'm going to let this group of guys beat shit out of you to see if you're strong enough to come into my, my club, yes? But I don't want to watch because you're my friend. I turn back now. <laughs> that, that, that was good. That, that, that was good. That guy was great. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll, I'll have to give him my... my is it Anatoly? Yeah. Okay, um, uh, is it? Is it Anatoly? Yeah. Are we 100% sure of that? Pretty sure. Get on the internet and make sure, Matt. Somebody get... Hang on, hang on. Wayne's got his phone. Oh, fuck. Let the millennial check. Brayden, are you with me that... that I feel like I can hear something calling, like, like this moment calls for something. This calls for a buzz. <laughs> Straight up off that master, do his name, Anatoly, so I'm officially, I'm crowning it right now.
Oliver Toll. Nah, hang on, I gotta get this one out. His name's Anatoly? Yeah. Anatoliver. Anatoliver. Yeah. Anatoliver. Anatoliver. Yeah. Hashtag Anatoliver for life. Yeah. So, yeah. Special mention to Anatoliver. Now, Brayden, did you give out an award? Did you give yours to Anatoliver? No, I'm actually going to give my grandson to um, Oliver's quiver and the arrows that came out of it because it was nice to actually see some arrows be shot and a little bit of mixing it up a little bit. Parachute yeah. arrow. Bomb that was pretty cool. Arrow. Yeah, I did like that too. I like that because that's what our green arrow is meant to be. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. Yeah. It was nice to see. Yeah. Wayne? Yeah, I'll go Anatolva. Yeah. Anatolva. Anatolva all the way. For life. For, 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 for life. Anyway, um, have you got Guggenheim's for Googs' show? I got one. Googs. Fuck you. <laughs> he's, the, he's the master of the Goog Awards. He is the Goog Award. Yeah. He is literally, you know, there's that South Park joke about Bono being a pile of shit. That is Guggenheim. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have to go with the, the visual the visual effects department because those uh, crash through the level. This is your bad award. Yeah. I thought you liked the crash through the level. No, I fucking hated oh, it. Oh, you didn't? Okay. No, I fucking hated that shit. I thought I was just like, really? <laughs> well, we're back in the 80s with visual effects now. There was one part where all of us threw a dude and I was like, holy shit, you should have been like superhuman to be able to do what you just did. Yeah, there's... He's Batman. There's a couple yeah. of points. There's a couple of points in the fighting that I just really was not happy with. I was like, oh. "Yeah, it's Arrow." What do you expect? Uh, speaking of, I just want to throw out a quick Batman fact since we're on uh, random topics. Hmm. Um, Batman in the comics is actually two inches and twenty pounds lighter than Ben Affleck is in real life playing Batman. Wayne, who you got for <laughs> your uh, Google <Guggenheim? laughs> Give it, I'll give all my Googs a Goog. Yeah, straight up the Googs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bray. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm probably going to have to go with Googs as well. I mean, I just, I'm not, tr I'm not trusting it. And, you know, they're, they're they just trying to tell really hard that they've changed and not going to go the way back that they were, but I'm, I don't trust him. No, me neither. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. Five straight down. Wow. The Googs toilet. <laughs> I'm going with three down. I fucking hated this ad. Three down. Danny Troy. Yeah, I'm, I'm two down. Two down on this. I mean, there was a few refreshing things to see in there, but, uh, yeah, probably going to be a whole heap of shit coming up. Didn't he write... What did you write to uh, Flash? Uh, I'm pretty sure I rated Flash two down as well. Okay. No, you rated Flash three down. That's right. Okay. Yeah, fine. I'll stick to that. All right. Well, uh, on that bombshell, it's time to wrap things up here. But before I do that, I would be remiss if I didn't throw it over to the social media ambassador to hand out all the plugging that he can. Shit! I've got to uh, dust off the old. <laughs> <laughs> watching us on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to us as well. Check out all our videos, we've got heaps there, what's going on. Check out our website, www.fromthebatcave.com. Check out our Facebook, facebook.com slash fromthebatcave. Twitter, twitter.com slash fromthebatcave. And, yeah, make sure you get over to that website. Check out heaps of stuff going on on there, heaps of stuff going on on our YouTube channel. Share us if you can, we love the support, we love you. Way to wrap this show up. Thank you for joining us. If you join us just for this episode, if you've joined us for any of the recaps of this week, uh, thank you very much. Don't forget to also check out Cabana Productions, our parent company. Lots of exciting things coming there. Obviously, they do stuff with AWA. We've got the Cabana Conspiracy Club, which just had a pilot episode drop. Uh, more of that will be coming in the next year. Uh, we also obviously have uh, Word with Adam there as well, which I host. And soon, uh, very soon, there will be big news coming on future audio podcast coming exclusively from Cabana Productions as well. So keep your eyes and ears open for those and make sure you head over and sign up at Cabana Productions as well to, uh, to get updates on those. But until then, I've been your host, Red Thunder Gerard. He's been the dad, not Braden Ahern. Yeah. 
He's been LL Cool Elder Wayne Campbell. And that's been the Pro Matt Richards. Adios. And we should kill it. And we'll see you all next time here from the Batcave. Cabana Production.